Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is going to be my best of drugstore makeup for 2023. I mentioned in my high-end video that I would be doing a drugstore version. So that's what we're going to be doing today. As I said in the high-end video, if you are good, you're not making it in this video. I'm holding these products even though they are drugstore, so they are less expensive. I'm holding these to the same standard as the high-end makeup. So for that reason, I do have less products to share with you in this video. I tried less drugstore makeup in 2023 than I did uh, high-end makeup. I'm only including the things that are great. So you cannot be good. You have to be great to make it in this video. So for that reason, there's not a ton of products in this video, but hopefully this is helpful. I just find I only want to share the very best of the best in my best of videos. So I hope that this is helpful. I hope you enjoy. And if you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty content here on YouTube. I hope you'll subscribe and let's get started. All right, since I don't have a ton of products here, we do have a few categories that I don't have a product. Not that I don't have a drugstore product from that category that I do love, but I'm just going off of things that I tried in 2023. And if I don't have one, then I'm not including one in the video because I feel like that defeats the purpose. So we do have a foundation. And if you've been around my channel for a little while, you probably know which one it is. It is the foundation that I have on today. It's the only foundation that's in this video. And it's this one from Revlon. This is the Skin Caring Foundation with 5% Squalane. I tried this pretty early on in 2023 and it very, very quickly became a favorite. I wear the shade 117 and this is such a beautiful, hydrating, slightly luminous foundation. It doesn't have a ton of coverage, I would say at most you can get a light medium coverage. I don't even think you can build this up to a true medium coverage, but it is very beautiful, very hydrating. If you struggle with dryness or if you have more mature skin, I bet you would really like this. If you have oily skin, it might be a little bit too glowy for you unless you use more of a mattifying primer or really use a mattifying powder, one or the other, but for me, I have normal skin and this works really well for me. It lasts on me and it just looks beautiful. It looks very natural. It lightly evens out my skin tone, but you can still see my skin peeking through as you'll see in the B-roll clips. But I think this feels like a high-end foundation. I would not use this on my skin and think, oh, that's, that's drugstore or that's something that's a little bit less expensive. I would not think that from this formula. It is very nice, very just great quality. So this has absolutely been the drugstore complexion product of the year for me. I have tried a few of them, but this was a very easy choice for me. I did also order the skin tint version of this that came out uh, like a month or so ago. So that will be coming in a video in the next week or so, but if you're looking for a nice, hydrating, everyday foundation, light coverage, that one from Revlon is beautiful. Sadly, I do not have a color corrector to mention. I tried a few affordable options this year, but none of them were great in my opinion. So I do not have a drugstore corrector that I tried for this year to include in the video, but I do have one concealer and I do have it on today. I know I've mentioned this a few times in videos, but this is a really beautiful drugstore concealer and it's from Flower Beauty. It's the Get Real Serum Concealer. It's a very thin, lightweight, serum-y texture. So it's very hydrating under the eyes. Again, if you have 
dryness. This is definitely not a drying formula at all. And I would say it gives about a medium coverage. You're not going to get full, full coverage from this. But today I did use this under my eyes and then I used it um, to add a little bit more coverage here where I needed it from that Revlon foundation. But this actually really surprised me. I don't love a ton of products from Flower Beauty, but this is a beautiful concealer. It is very similar to me to the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer, which has been a favorite since it came out a few years ago. This is very similar, but it does have the doe foot applicator, which I prefer, and it's beautiful. Now, because it is a thinner consistency, it's pretty hydrating, that type of formula you can kind of look at it two ways, okay? It's not thick, it's not heavy, it's not a cakey concealer because of the texture. Now, if you do have a lot of fine lines, a lot of texture or creepiness under the eyes, I do find formulas like this are more prone to kind of seeping into those areas. And that's true no matter what concealer we're talking about. I do think a lot of times people associate lighter weight concealers or serum concealers like this with being a better option than something that's maybe a little bit thicker, not as liquidy, but you do have to keep in mind that sometimes formulas like this, while they are lightweight and they don't, they don't look thick or heavy under the eyes, they do, because of the texture, tend to settle sometimes. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for, what your under eyes are needing. But for me personally, I am 31. I do have some fine lines under my eyes. I don't have a ton of texture or anything, but I do have fine lines. I do have dark circles. I do have on color corrector underneath this today though. I did use my pixie corrector, which is it would make it in this video for sure if I had tried it in 2023. It's probably the best drugstore corrector out there in my opinion, but I do find this really nice if this meets your preferences and what you're looking for. I really love this one from Flower. I do have a powder that really really impressed me from the drugstore this year. This product was not a new launch. The foundation and the concealer, those were new launches from 2023 that I loved. But this product I just happened to try in 2023 and this is my favorite drugstore powder hands down now. And it's this one from NYX. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder. Mine is in the shade light. I believe this comes in like seven or eight shades, which is great coming from the drugstore. But this really surprised me. This is a very smoothing, mattifying powder. I used this today all over my face, but I primarily kind of focused it here right on the sides of my nose, mainly in my T-zone, but I used it all along here and even a little bit under my eyes, and it really smooths your skin, mattifies the area, but it doesn't look like, oh, she's just put a ton of powder all over her face. It's a really, really beautiful powder. I definitely needed powder today with this foundation and the flower concealer. These two together, they do leave a very glowy finish on the skin. So I did need a powder and I feel like this did a really great job of mattifying this area. I love that they have a great shade range as well. That's not always the case with drugstore powders. The Maybelline Fit Me was my favorite last year until I tried this earlier this year. And to me, this is much better. The Maybelline is good, but this is great in my opinion for the smoothing and blurring qualities. I absolutely love it and highly recommend this powder from NYX. All right, I do not have a bronzer to share. I did use a drugstore bronzer today, but this is not something I've tried in the last year, but it's a great one. It's the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer. That's the bronzer I have on today, but I did not try a bronzer from the drugstore this year that just blew me away that I knew had to make it in this video and I kind of felt the same about blush except for one and I kind of hesitated on mentioning this one for a few reasons that I'll get into but 
the blush I have on today, and I do think this specific shade in this blush is beautiful. And it's the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush in the shade number one, Shimmering Rose. Now, these came out earlier in 2023. I bought two shades. I had a second shade. I ended up decluttering that one and keeping this one. My thing with these blushes is I can only speak to those two shades, this one and the one that I had. I believe it was shade four. Shade four had very large pieces of glitter in it, which is why I ended up decluttering it. I don't, I don't want huge chunks of glitter in my blush. This one in shade one does not. It's a really pale pink with a really pretty sheen to it. This is the blush that I have on today and it's very pretty. It does not have a lot of pigment. So if you are any darker than me, this shade is probably not going to show up on you. So I would say if you can find a shade in this that works for you that does not have the chunky glitter in it, I do think this is a nice blush. I don't love the packaging. I mean, I know it's it's drugstore, so it's less expensive. I get it. But like, I don't like that this rubs off. It, I don't know, you know, it, you kind of get what you pay for sometimes and you see that in the packaging at times. But the product itself in this shade is good and I do enjoy it. So I wanted to mention it. It's just, I wish all of the shades had the same formula without those chunky pieces of glitter in them. So if you can find one that you like that doesn't have that, I do recommend them. I think the formula is really nice. It reminds me of something similar to an hourglass blush, but hourglass blushes have that beautiful natural sheen to them. They don't have chunks of glitter. So that's why I'm not recommending every shade. You have to find the shades that don't have the glitter and hopefully there's more than just this one i'm not sure i've only tried those two but i do think that was a nice drugstore blush that came out in 2023 i don't have any brow products that i tried this year that really blew me away i love my nyx micro brow eye pencil that's probably my favorite eyebrow pencil if i had to choose one i love that one in the shade cool brown but i've been using that for years and I've been very into my powdered brow products from Anastasia, so I don't have any brow products to share, but I do have a few eyeshadow palettes that I want to share. So we'll start with, I have two different ones. We'll start with the one that I have on my eyes today. And to me, this is a very, very nice high quality drugstore shadow formula. And it's these little quads here from CoverGirl. These are the Clean Fresh eyeshadows, and I have the shade Shimmering Beige. Now these come in, I think, seven or eight different color stories. I only have this one, and of course you can see why. If you know me, you know that these are the kinds of colors that I love. But this formula from CoverGirl really surprised me. It is not just a basic matte shadow and a metallic shadow. These are something a little bit different. So you get a topper in here, which that's mainly what you see on my lid here that's really, really shimmery. But then you have these three here, this brown, this kind of grayish taupe, and then this light kind of champagne, kind of an ivory color. These are very creamy mattes. They're not shimmers, but they're not flat mattes either. They have just a little bit of a radiance to them, which is really, really pretty, and it makes them feel very high quality, very luxury. A lot of the more high-end eyeshadow formulas have a very similar formula and texture and appearance on the eyes. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Tom Ford eyeshadow formula, the powder eyeshadow formula. That's what this reminds me of, and I don't say that lightly. I don't say, I, like I said, I was very picky about things that I included in this video, but this little quad I have thoroughly enjoyed since I got it. Every time I use it, I really like it. I used all four shades today. I used this one kind of all over. I used the gray in the crease. I used a little bit of this in the outer corner, not much at all, and then I used 
the topper shade in the center of my lids. But these are nice. These are really nice and I love all the color stories. I just personally like this one the best, but this eyeshadow formula from CoverGirl really impressed me this year. And the second eyeshadow palette that really impressed me this year were these from LA Girl. These are the Four Play Eyeshadow Quads, and I believe there's quite a few shades in these quads as well. I want to say there's like six seven somewhere around there I have two of them but this was actually my first time trying eyeshadow from LA girl these I believe these came out really early in 2023 I bought them at Ulta and again I had never tried their eyeshadow formula so I didn't really know what to expect from them but I was extremely impressed with these you get two mattes two more metallic shimmers in here this is more of a standard eyeshadow formula than the CoverGirl. These are not that kind of creamy, sheeny eyeshadow formula like similar to Tom Ford. These are more standard. So these are truly just matte shadows and these are just very shimmery metallic shadows. But the quality is great. These matte shades here, very finely milled and smooth. Very easy to use, very easy to blend. And apply I I was very very shocked by this I mean if you like neutrals this one here is beautiful this one is in the shade seduce I love it this is this is top tier drugstore quality I don't hear anyone talk about these anymore I feel like they kind of did earlier in the year when these were released I also have this one which is more of a green kind of a khaki color story which you know is one of my favorite colors to wear on the eyes this one is the shade cowgirl so again you get the two mattes in here and then these two metallic shimmer shades but the quality so so high on these and these i want to say are like five or six dollars somewhere around there maybe seven i don't know it'll all be linked in the description box but these really really good so these were my two favorite eyeshadow formulas that i tried in 2023 i do have one mascara to share this is from maybelline and it's the falsies surreal mascara this is a fantastic mascara last year i fell in love with elf lash and roll and that one is still a favorite i still love it but earlier this year maybelline released this one and this is this is up there with best drugstore mascaras i've tried ever this formula is really really good it does not smudge on me and i really like the wand on this one it's nothing like special or anything unique but it's just a standard straight wand not super skinny but not a super fat wand either this one adds a little bit of everything it adds some length some separation and some volume so this one is more more of a glam mascara in my mind the elf lash and roll is very natural you don't get very much volume from that at all but this one highly highly recommend this they actually did i saw at Target when I was there a few days ago. This year, I guess they released the waterproof version of this. So if you like waterproof, they do make the waterproof version of this now as well. And actually, I did use this today. This is actually in my empties. I pulled it out of the empties and just used it because I wanted to use it for the video. But this is sadly all, all gone at this point. I, I've used up as much as I can of this, but I highly recommend it. All right, finally for lips, I do have a few products to share in this category. I feel like lip products are one of those things that the drugstore does really, really well. And it, it is very common for great drugstore lip products to come out. I have tried quite a few in this category. And these, these three, the three things I have on my lips, top, top favorites. Highly recommend them. We'll start with the lip liner that I forget when in the year I tried this, but if you've been around for a while, you may remember 
There was a time when I was mentioning this in almost every single video, and it's this lip liner from Essence. This is the eight hour matte comfort lip liner in the shade Rosy Nude. So this is a retractable lip liner, so you uh, twist it up, and this truly is an eight hour matte lip liner. This is one of those formulas that once you apply it, it's very creamy, but once it dries down, it actually does stay on your lips. What you have over the top may fade throughout the day. The lip liner does not though. These really, really do last. And sometimes that's not the case with these retractable lip liners. Usually they're more on the creamy side and that's nice, but sometimes that means they don't last as long. Not the case with this one. These are very long lasting. I have a few shades, but my favorite is number four in Rosy Nude, and these are like $3. They are high, high quality. I love this one, so highly recommend these from Essence. And then the last two products are from e.l.f. I've tried a lot from e.l.f. this year, and not everything from them has been a favorite. In fact, a lot of them have not been, so um, if you can think of e.l.f. launches that have come out this year that are not in this video, it's because I either haven't tried them or I wasn't super crazy about them, but these two are fantastic. The first is the lipstick from e.l.f. These are the O-Face Satin Lipsticks. This one is the shade Dirty Talk, and this is the perfect pinky nude, rosy nude, literally the perfect match to go with this lip liner from Essence, but everything about these from e.l.f., high, high quality. Even the packaging, I mean, it's very sleek, it's very just simple, but very nice. It's magnetic, has the magnetic cap, and obviously I'm assuming here they were going for NARS because this is the exact looking packaging that NARS has in their lipsticks, and I would say they nailed it with these. I think this formula is fantastic. I love this color. It's very pigmented. These are satin lipsticks, so they do have a little bit of that sheen to them. They are not matte, but they have a lot of pigment, so they're not one of those balmy kind of sheer lip products. They are very opaque with pigment, but they're on the hydrating side, which I absolutely love, so I think e.l.f. killed it with these. And the last product that I do have on over those two, and this is a very recent launch from e.l.f., but these are fantastic. These, the Glow Revival Lip Oils. This one is the shade Honey Talks. It's kind of a brownie nude color. That's what I have on over those other two lip products. But these, I think, the best drugstore lip oil. They're better than the NYX, in my opinion, the fat oils. I love those until I tried these. These are so much better. Also better than the CoverGirl Yummy Lip Oil that came out earlier. Those are okay as well, they're good. This one is great. Everything about it, it's shiny, it's not sticky. It has a really nice minty smell without being overpowering. I don't think they could have done these any better to be honest. This is absolutely wonderful. I have another one too. I should have brought it in here, but it's rosy pink or I don't know. It's a rosy color that I have. That one is actually in my purse downstairs, but I don't think Elf could have done these better. Truly. They are beautiful. And this, these three products, that's what I have on my lips and I love them. All right, you guys, that is actually everything. So yes, I did not include as many products in this video as I did in the high-end version, as I said in the intro, but I was really picky. I was really picky with the high-end products and I was equally as picky with these because I don't know, I just, I wanna be more selective in the things that I recommend, the things that, especially in a yearly best of video, I don't wanna include things that are not the best, you know? I could include a lot of things and say that they're good because makeup has gotten so good and it continues to get better each year but these are truly the products that impressed me that i think are up there 
with the high-end products that I mentioned in my high-end video. If you have not seen that, make sure to go check out that video. I'm really proud of that video. I really loved it. And I stand behind the products that I mentioned in that video as I do with these products. So I hope you enjoyed. I will have everything listed below and linked for you. I do use affiliate links that support my channel if you shop through them. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm excited for this year and for just a fresh start. I love the beginning of a year with a fresh start. It gives me a lot of motivation and just inspiration for content and things that I want to do in the new year. So I hope your year is off to a great start. I will see you next time for another video. Remember, simply be you. Bye.